The posts claim that the telescope captured the object changing its trajectory in an unnatural manner. An object screamed into our solar system at over 100,000 miles per hour. Scientists at NASA aimed their telescopes, expecting another routine comet. What they saw, however, was anything but routine. This visitor, named 3I Atlas, has a tail that seems to defy the laws of physics, pointing towards the sun instead of away. It's hard to believe, but the reality is that this interstellar traveler looks less like a chunk of ancient ice and rock, and more like something deliberately constructed, something with a purpose. This is the story of the object that has everyone looking up in wonder and a little bit of fear. A celestial bait and switch. You see, to understand the shock and disbelief surrounding the interstellar object known as 3I Atlas, we first have to rewind the clock a little. The name 3I Atlas already carries a strange weight in the world of astronomy, a history of incredible hype followed by a silent, crushing disappointment. Back in 2019, a different object was discovered by the Asteroid Terrestrial Impact Last Alert System, or ATLAS, in Hawaii. This comet, officially named C2019Y4, was, for a moment, the darling of the night sky. It was brightening at an astonishing rate, far faster than anyone expected. Stargazers and astronomers were buzzing with excitement. Projections showed it could become bright enough to be seen with the naked eye, a true generational spectacle rivaling the brightest stars like Vega. It was being hailed as the Comet of the Century. People who had never looked through a telescope were suddenly learning its name. But then, as it drew closer to the sun, something strange happened. The thing nobody tells you about comets is that they are fragile. They are basically dirty snowballs, loose collections of ice, dust, and rock. The sun's immense heat and gravity can be a brutal combination. In late March of 2020, just as Comet 3I Atlas was supposed to be putting on its best show, it started to fade. The brightening stalled, then reversed. It was like a firework that fizzled out. Astronomers watched in dismay as the comet's solid nucleus, the heart of the object, began to crumble. The Hubble Space Telescope was pointed at the dying ember and returned shocking images. It hadn't just cracked, it had disintegrated into as many as 30 separate pieces. By May, the celestial show was over. The comet of the century had become a ghost, a diffuse cloud of dust and gas that quietly disappeared. It was a cosmic letdown. This story is important because it set a precedent. It reminded everyone that space is unpredictable. So when a new object bearing the name 3I Atlas was discovered, this time an interstellar visitor designated 3I Atlas, the scientific community was cautiously optimistic, but also prepared for another disappointment. It's hard to believe, but the reality is that what they found was not a disappointment. It was something far, far stranger it was a puzzle that would make the simple act of a comet breaking apart seem utterly mundane by comparison. This new object wouldn't just challenge our expectations, it would challenge our understanding of the universe itself. This visitor wasn't a fragile snowball fizzling out. It was robust, it was fast, and it was doing things that scientists simply couldn't explain with our current understanding of physics. Traveling at an incredible 130,000 miles per hour, its trajectory was already unusual, but the real shock came when they got a clear look at its tail. Every comet has a tail, or usually two, pushed away from the nucleus by the solar wind and radiation pressure from the sun. It's the most basic rule. But the tail of 3I Atlas wasn't playing by the rules. Part of it was pointing towards the sun. It was a detail so wrong, so fundamentally impossible, that the first reports were thought to be instrument errors. They weren't. This was no simple comet. This was something else entirely. This cosmic puzzle was just getting started, and the next piece would be even more bizarre. Not your average comet tail. When the initial data came in, astronomers were stumped. A comet's tail pointing toward the sun is like seeing the smoke from a campfire blowing directly into the flames. It just doesn't happen. You see, comets have two main tails. There's the dust tail, made of larger particles, which gets pushed back by the pressure of sunlight itself and forms a gentle curve behind the comet. Then there's the ion tail, 
made of charged gases, which is blown straight back by the solar wind, a constant stream of particles flowing from the sun. Both tails, without exception, point away from the sun. On very rare occasions, an optical illusion known as an anti-tail can occur. This happens when Earth passes through the comet's orbital plane, and from our perspective, some of the heavier dust left in the comet's orbit appears to be a spike pointing sunward. But everybody was shocked when they heard this was not what was happening with 3i Atlas. Multiple observations from different telescopes, including the Hubble and the James Webb Space Telescope, confirmed the impossible. 3i Atlas was actively ejecting a plume of material from its sun-facing side, a focused jet that was pointing directly into the solar wind. This wasn't a trick of perspective. It was a real, physical phenomenon. The material in this plume was simply too heavy and moving too deliberately to be explained by natural processes. Solar radiation should have been blowing it away, but instead, it held its form, a bizarre sunward spear. This feature alone was enough to get the full attention of the scientific community, but it was tied to another, even more profound, anomaly. The object was accelerating. Not all things are what they seem, and this acceleration wasn't the kind you'd expect. Comets do experience slight changes in their trajectory from forces other than gravity. As the sun heats the icy nucleus, jets of gas erupt from the surface, acting like tiny rocket thrusters. This outgassing can push a comet around, a phenomenon known as non-gravitational acceleration. But these forces are usually random and weak, causing a slight wobble or drift. 3i Atlas was different. It was experiencing a steady, constant push, and the push was in the exact same direction as the mysterious sunward plume. The numbers were mind-boggling. The object was being pushed with a force equivalent to what you'd get from a modern spacecraft's ion thruster. It was subtle, but over weeks, this tiny, persistent acceleration had shifted its position by thousands of miles from where gravity alone said it should be. This is where the whispers started to turn into serious discussions. Prominent astronomers, including Harvard's A.V. Loeb, who famously suggested the first interstellar visitor, Oumuamua, could be an alien artifact, began to draw parallels. The behavior of 3i Atlas wasn't just strange, it was efficient. It was controlled. The focused, sunward jet and the corresponding acceleration looked eerily similar to a propulsion system. A natural comet's outgassing is like an out-of-control fire hose, spraying in all directions. This was like a finely tuned engine. To get that much directional force from natural outgassing, the comet would have needed to be losing mass at a rate 10 times higher than what was observed. The data didn't add up. The only way the models worked was if the object was a focused jet of heavy grains, a process for which we have no natural explanation. The evidence for engineering was mounting, but the object's physical makeup was even more alien. A message in chemistry, with the world's most powerful telescopes now fixed on this interstellar enigma, scientists began to analyze the light coming from its coma, the fuzzy atmosphere of gas and dust surrounding the nucleus. What they found only deepened the mystery and sent shockwaves through the fields of astronomy and chemistry. The thing nobody tells you is that every object in the universe has a chemical fingerprint, and by analyzing the light, you can read that fingerprint. The chemical makeup of 3i Atlas was unlike anything we had ever seen before. Our solar system's comets are mostly water ice. They are dirty snowballs. But when the James Webb Space Telescope analyzed 3i Atlas, it found very little water. Instead, the coma was overwhelmingly dominated by carbon dioxide. The ratio was an astonishing eight parts carbon dioxide to one part water. For context, most comets in our solar system have a ratio between 0.1 and 2. This was off the charts. Such a high concentration of carbon dioxide suggested it formed in an incredibly cold environment, far colder than where our own comets were born. But this was just the beginning. The Very Large Telescope in Chile detected something else in the coma that made even less sense. Atomic nickel. Nickel isn't unheard of in space, but it's almost always found alongside its cosmic cousin, iron. The two elements are forged together in the hearts of dying stars, 
and travel the cosmos together. Yet, the instruments detected a significant amount of nickel vapor without the expected accompanying iron. It's hard to believe, but the reality is that separating nickel from iron on this scale is not a natural process. It is, however, a very common industrial process here on Earth. It's called refining. This discovery was a bombshell. We were looking at an object that contained refined metal, a substance that, as far as we know, requires technology to create. The production rates of both the carbon dioxide and the nickel were also increasing sharply as the object got closer to the sun, hinting at some complex and controlled release mechanism. The pieces of the puzzle were coming together, and the picture they were forming was both incredible and unsettling. We had an object from another star system. It was moving under its own power, using a propulsion system that looked like an ion drive, and its chemical makeup included materials that suggested industrial processing. The evidence was pointing away from a natural explanation and towards something far more profound. Avi Loeb and others in the community began to ask the question out loud, were we looking at a piece of alien technology, a probe, a ship, or perhaps just the discarded industrial waste of a civilization far beyond our own? The implications were staggering. For the first time, the idea wasn't just science fiction, it was backed by observational data. The mystery of 3i Atlas was no longer just about a strange comet. It was about our place in the cosmos. But the object's trajectory held one final chilling secret that suggested this was no random visit. Too perfect to be random. When an object comes visiting from another star system, you'd expect its path to be random, a straight line cutting through our solar system at any odd angle. That's what we saw with 2i slash Borisov, the second interstellar visitor we discovered. But 3i Atlas was different. Its trajectory was, for lack of a better word, suspicious. The most shocking detail was its alignment. It was traveling almost perfectly along the ecliptic plane, the flat disk on which all the planets in our solar system orbit the sun. It was only off by a mere five degrees. The statistical odds of an interstellar object arriving on such a perfectly aligned trajectory by chance are infinitesimally small. It's like throwing a dart from a mile away and hitting the bullseye. It's possible, but it's so unlikely you'd have to suspect the dart was guided. This is the part that began to make people truly wonder if this was all happening for a reason. Are we missing a key detail here? The thing is, this wasn't just a flyby. Its path was set to make remarkably close approaches to several key planets in our system, including Mars and Venus. It was like a tourist making a calculated journey through our celestial neighborhood. If you were an alien probe sent to survey our solar system, this is the exact trajectory you would choose to get the most data with the least amount of energy. To many, the combination of a propulsion system, refined materials, and a highly improbable, perfectly aligned trajectory was too much to be a coincidence. So, what is the official story? The mainstream scientific community remains cautious, as it should. They argue that we are seeing a new type of natural object that we simply don't understand yet. The sunward tail could be caused by a strange spin on the object's nucleus, with a pole pointing directly at the sun, causing focused outgassing. The unusual composition could mean it comes from a type of star system we've never seen before. These are plausible, if unlikely, explanations. They preserve our current understanding of the universe, but they don't feel complete. They don't quite capture the sheer strangeness of it all. Is 3i Atlas a natural wonder, or is it our first contact? What do you think is the truth behind this cosmic mystery? Let us know in the comments, and don't forget to like and subscribe for more explorations into the unknown.